All right, how about Daniel Jones coming through for the New York Giants? He had a huge day. The Giants looking like a playoff team. They will be a playoff team, and they're, you know, uh, it's been a team that maybe at times was overachieving, but in this game, they just looked awesome, and that's great to see. Daniel Jones looked awesome. Let's talk about what he was able to do so effectively, starting off with this play, which is a more simple play. Have a receiver running over the middle. It is going to be man coverage, but with the corner who is covering him playing so far off, this is definitely a route that could potentially get open and could work. And watch how when this play begins, you're going to see that that's kind of what's happening right here. I mean, the reality is he's getting wide open, and to me, this is a great thing for the Giants. One of the issues we've said with the Giants kind of all season long is there's things they do very well, but it's a passing league, and their passing has not been overall, not been too consistent overall. It's had some flashes, had some flashes in this game, but as a whole, hasn't been spectacular. But if they can get guys to start getting open, well, this could go a very long way for New York. Like, this play is going to be another example where it's going to be, uh, this is a great play from Daniel Jones, really. It's, it's a zone coverage play. That's the concept that he's going to be going up against. And so, okay, well, what happens? Watch as Jones takes the snap, and he's going to first look towards his left. And you see right here, no real good route. Maybe if this was a second down, you could throw the check down and hope that you can get a broken tackle. But on third down, the odds of that happening seem slim. You don't want to have a fourth down and goal. You want to score a touchdown right here. And this is where the Daniel Jones good stuff comes into play. Watch him be able to scramble outside the pocket. He's going to eventually find a receiver to hit and they're able to get a touchdown right there. And this is these are the playmaking type of plays, right? These are the type of plays that you look at and say, okay, a replacement level quarterback doesn't make that kind of play. And for someone like Daniel Jones, who is maybe considered a replacement level quarterback, or at least kind of in that conversation heading into this season, the fact that he is now making these above and beyond plays, again, very promising. And definitely he has shown that he's at least a solid quarterback, I think. Now heading over here, this is another example of what he was able to do well, is his legs. I've always been a fan of Daniel Jones' running ability. I've always felt it's a very underrated aspect of his game. And if he can sort of do this stuff consistently, which he can, that's, again, that could be how the Giants could make some noise come postseason time. So the way this play works is uh, I've circled one Indianapolis player as he is going to be blitzing on this play. Watch as this play begins. You're going to see that he gets through untouched. So, okay, maybe you would have liked to see someone pick up that uh, that blitz. Fine. Didn't, didn't work out that way. It happens. The center was blocking towards his right. Blitz comes to the left. You know, it's one of those things of... Uh, what are you going to do? These things do happen. But here's where Daniel Jones' good play comes into play here. Because, you know, if this is Tom Brady, he has to throw the football away. But when you have an athlete at quarterback like Daniel Jones is, that's where this kind of stuff can happen. Watch him use his legs to get outside the pocket. He is going to pick up a good chunk of yards on this one. So, again, really good play. His running game was a very big aspect of this game and a very big reason why they were able to look so good against Indianapolis. And it was also stuff like this. You know, one of the things that just young quarterbacks in general can sometimes struggle with, and I think Jones was one of those quarterbacks, is, uh, you know, being a bit hesitant to throw the football at times. Well, play like this, I think looks like an easy play on paper. I'm not going to sit here and say it's, uh, you know, one of those Patrick, Patrick Mahomes uh, throwing left-handed behind his back type of plays, but it's still a very good play and kind of, again, goes to show one of the ways he's improved as a player where it's going to be a zone coverage play and you see the route on the screen just trying to get into a gap and coverage. That's all you're trying to do here. Look at how when this play begins, that's essentially what's happening here. You have a bit of a window for Daniel Jones to make this throw, so you're feeling like you're in an okay spot here. But again, this is where the the lack of hesitation can really come in. If you take too long to make this throw, an Indianapolis player can come in and make a play, and the reality is could make an interception if you wait too long. Daniel Jones is not doing that. I mean, if you look over at Daniel Jones, he's already in the throwing motion, going very quickly here. Watch him make this throw, and the Giants are able to pick up a touchdown there. Really good play from Daniel Jones. It's not the craziest play, but again, it's less about being able to do this and more about doing this consistently. That's really where he thrives, and that's where the success of this Giants offense, when it has had success, has come in. And again, something like this, where you just you had guys making plays, where the you know concept on the screen is a pretty simple concept. It's man coverage across the board. There is going to be a blitz here, so you kind of got to get rid of the football quickly. But the benefit here is that since the Colts are blitzing, a lot of their defenders are going to be playing relatively far off. So again, if Jones can get rid 
the football quickly, this is where you can have some success uh, if you're the Giants. Watch how when this play began. It's going to be Richie James who is running this route, and you see him, uh, you know, he, he gets open. He wins his one-on-one -on -one matchup, and that's something that the Giants hadn't had a ton of this season, and I know people are going to say it's just the Colts. Who cares? Which, okay, fine to some degree. The Colts are a team that has definitely struggled at points this season. I think Colts fans will admit that. Uh, you know, uh, the, the parents of players on the Colts will probably admit that, right? It's been a tough year for Indianapolis, but their defense has actually played all right this year. The defense has not been the biggest issue, and so the fact that they're able to get these guys open is already great. So at this point, you already feel good about, but it's going to get better because watch as Jones hits James, but James makes a move and is able to get a ton more yards. And again, if you're getting this stuff to happen, this is how you can beat a, a Minnesota come playoff time, which it's looking like it'll probably be. There is still a chance that it could be, uh, you know, could be a couple of teams, actually. I think, I believe it could still be uh, Dallas uh, is in the mix. San Francisco is still in the mix. But if you're going to beat a really good team, which they're going to have to try to as the sixth seed, uh, th this is how you're going to have to do it. By being able to make these moves, by being able to have guys who can make plays. And I guess the other thing to talk about is where do, what does this mean just as a whole for Daniel Jones and for the Giants as a as a whole of do you keep Daniel Jones here or do you uh, you know think about moving on I think the real answer is if you're in the Giants organization you don't even think about it until after the playoffs you're focused on the playoffs trying to make sure that you do as well as you can you'll make that decision after the postseason um it's always a dilemma right when you have this quarterback who's coming in and playing well but not playing like a superstar necessarily he's playing solid football what do you do you don't want to give him big money right because that puts you in a difficult position obviously you don't want to give him you don't want to lose him for nothing either which is just where to, it always becomes a difficult thing of you could get a Jared Goff or a Carson Wentz type contract which would obviously not be very good but the flip side is you could be in a situation where you have a quarterback who is again a playoff caliber quarterback he's a guy who you can clearly build a team around to get you to the postseason and the reality is I feel like this Giants team has a lot more steps forward they can go. I don't think this is a team that, uh, you know, is kind of going to be one and, you know, make the playoffs here and then uh, fall back down to earth next season. I think they have a lot of ways they can upgrade this roster. And, you know, we've kind of talked all season about how, you know, in my opinion, Brian Dable is the coach of the year. I think he's been great. But, you know, we talked a lot about how good Dable has been, but it's not just but, you know, if, if, if Dable is good and also Daniel Jones is good, I mean, that's always what you talk about with football, right? What's your head coach? What's your quarterback? If those things suck, it typically doesn't matter what you're doing the rest of the way. And the fact that they have, you know, those two positions looking pretty good, it has the Giants looking pretty good. And while I disrespected the Giants all season, basically, and talked about how I felt like they're uh, overrated, I think I've called them frauds at some point. The reality is they're getting hot at the right time. And if, you know, that's all you have to do. Uh, I've also always said, hey, if you're winning football games, who cares what Jackson Kruger Sports on YouTube thinks about you? And they're winning football games, and now they're getting hot at the right time. So definitely reason to get excited if you're a Giants fan. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.